20, and then it escalates to 25. And, and next thing you know, the, the force builds up, builds up, builds up. So now, in the middle of it all, this guy is feeling all his own resistance to the force, his own force, and I'm feeling the, the resistance to my own force meeting at this place. So now, instead of me pushing with 15 pounds, I feel my 15 coming back to me plus this 15. Right. So I'm feeling 30 pounds of pressure at the point, and so is this guy. So I keep, and, and then they keep increasing, increasing to the point where you hit max. That means that at the maximum point, whoever now, this guy stops at, let's say, 50 pounds. The other guy can keep going to 75, and I can't hold it anymore. No matter how much I do, he's going to overcome that. So that becomes a bad paradigm. Right? I mean, yang yang. So, yeah. well, well, it's okay up to a point, and that's when we get that that um <clears throat> that saying. Well, you're only as good until you meet that guy that can beat you. Right? That means that ultimately I can beat anyone that's weaker than me until I meet the guy that's stronger than me. Then I'm in trouble. Right? That's, right. that's really the case. So, so then what would we do? So, oh, as a martial artist, what would we do? Okay, so maybe if I learn how to hit faster, so hit him more times before he can get to me, right? Right. That's, I'm gonna increase my speed. Well, okay, that works for how long? Up until your middle age. And then as you get older, man, your muscles start to get slower. So after a point, you can only be so fast until you meet some young guy, pump out there, he's faster than you untrained he's going to still be faster than you yeah. and okay then then it's lost again so what ends up happening is you end up what i say relying on the luck of the moment hopefully choosing the right technique to match the right situation to overcome that situation but that doesn't happen right like I me mean, how can we know in the situation what exactly is going to happen okay. so that's the biggest problem Right? We can't. So what ends up happening is we're always behind that moment. But we have to wait to see what happens and then react to it. Right. So if I didn't know what I was doing and I'm staying in front of Pat and Pat comes out to reach to me, I don't know where he's going to go. He might be going to my face. He might be doing an uppercut to my ribs. Right? He might be swinging around this way with his other hand. So I don't even know what's going to happen until I see it coming. Then I react. Oh, I'm Right? right, but where's my mind at this point? See now, he's finishing this punch. Right, he's ending this punch. So if I block this, it, it serves no purpose to me because this punch is already done. Right? right, but he's a seasoned fighter, so he knows that I'm going to go for this regardless. So as my mind, the tension is right here. That hand is coming. Bop. Done. Oh because my mind's right here, it's not there. Right? So that means I'm behind the moment all the time because I'm reacting to the situation. So I don't know what the situation's gonna happen. I'm reacting to it, oh, now I'm too late. I'm behind the point, I'm, I'm behind the time or the present moment, so I'm always reacting. Yeah. So what we try to do in Yeni Chuan is instead of trying to figure out what you do, everyone else does, we try to just to figure out what we do, right? And in that process of knowing what to do, for ourselves and find our own alignment and whatnot, we bring our movements and everything up to the present moment. So the way we train our minds and all the movements is not about, oh, let me learn this movement, but we're learning, okay, what exactly is happening in this? Oh, I'm absorbing. Oh, okay, that's absorb. Okay, I'm going to neutral. Okay, then I go to my Bing Ming. Oh, that's expanded. Ah, oh, projecting back to neutral. Oh, then I connect back to my Dan Chen. Oh, okay, this is absorbing. So our mind gets trained to work a process in the present moment. Right? After a while, your mind gets used to doing things at the present moment. So your body doesn't move until your mind sees everything and right. decides, okay, I want to do this. And so what ends up happening now is as soon as he starts moving, as soon as something's happening, my body's adjusting at that moment and moving along that present moment. So when contact is made, the, 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 the minute that's made, I'm already moving with this point. Right? So then once I move with the point, 
I realize that, oh, okay, so I'm that reflective receiver now. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what's going to happen. So even though it seems that I'm doing like the same move, mm -hmm. even though it seems like I'm blocking this, the only, what I'm doing is I'm actually touching to find out where his energy is at. So now I have the six energies at the 3D energy at the point. So I know he's finished with this. So as soon as he starts pulling back that arm, right? So he pulls back the arm, I can feel, oh, that's the rotation of the body. He's coming over here. And depending on the angle of this arm, I can tell if he's coming high or low. Okay, without even looking. Mm -hmm. okay. So what ends up happening as he's coming with the other hand, he has to pull this hand in order for that hand to come to me. See how, that, how far that hand comes back? So even to get to me, that hand even has to come back farther. Right? So, to there. so I already know by the time it's going that way, he's already here. Right? So instead of reacting to this as that's coming up and blocking, my hand's already here because I, see, I feel this going back. So this yeah. is already intercepted. I don't have to think about blocking this. I'm thinking about it. My hand is here. Mm. Okay. So 